is Rebecca, also known as a 4 kids at 147 and I'm going to be getting my next canvas prepped. Now, I did have quite a bit of a dilemma on what my next big project was going to be. Um, I have done a couple of small canvases um, and I have and I may still fit in some small canvases um, but I did decide to get this one completed. So the plan for this one is it will go in a frame in my front room um, that houses my Christmas painting. So it houses a Christmas painting at Christmas um, and then I want this ready to go in it after Christmas. So I thought I would get this done so that it is ready. Also, I've been keeping the canvas um, that I got, that I've done an unboxing on, it's in good condition, um, but I've been keeping it flat on my craft desk. And the Diamond Art Club ones that I've got to do, um, and another um, big long painting that I'm not quite sure if it's going up in the house yet, um, they're rolled up so they take a lot less space um, whereas this one because they were poured glue sorry that's the reason that they're rolled up they're poured glue um, and they're perfectly fine to roll up whereas this one's getting a bit in my way um, so I am going to do this one next so I thought we'd get that prepped together <coughs> so just to move that out of the way for the moment I'm going to be using this box from CES Deals. It's a little bit different for me. Um, I don't normally use cases like this when it's a diamond painting that I'm going to be doing in the front room um, just because of storing it. However, it's so pretty. Um, I do want to use it. It's got a lot of colours and a lot of numbers on this one. Um, so I'm actually going to be using the bottom half of this. So there is either a video's either gone up or is not quite yet up on what I'm doing with the bottles on the top of this. I've used it for another painting. Um, so I'm going to have sort of two paintings on the go using this case. Um, the other one's just going to use the top layer because I'm doing it in my craft room. So let's get prepped. Now, what I did think I would use for this one, which I've been very eager to use, um, is this lovely gift from a subscriber of a Xyron sticker maker. Now, I have not, th this is me getting it out of the box. I have not figured out how to use this yet. Um, I am guessing the cartridge is in ready. It does look as though it's in ready. And I guess we sort of pull this down. Okay, let's give it a go. So I have a inventory sheet for this. So I'm gonna use the inventory sheet straight onto here. Now there is a stamp that they've got over the top of it, but hey ho, we're just gonna do it anyway. So I am a scrapbooker, so I am gonna use my trimmer to sort of put this down and I'm hoping I've already done inventory and stuff, but I'm hoping that by cutting where that is and across the symbol that it's going to fit on these bottles. If not, I may need to have a rethink or I may have to do it as two separate. Are they going to fit? Oh, I think we might be all right. It's going to be fun to sort of cut them together but let's see if we can get that edge just a little bit closer are they gonna fit let's try from the bottom I think they're gonna fit on the lid um, even though there is quite a bit of a gap but I think we might be all right we're gonna give it a go anyway um, I am gonna cut down in between where we have four digits and where we only have three. I'm gonna to have to cut these individually with my scissors when I'm done, but this is just so that I can get rid of that excess there. These will of course quite easily fit on the top of the bottles, but let's, let's see how this works. Okay, let's get rid of my rubbish.
and let's hope we don't muck this up so it shows you how to load it you pull it in tear it okay i have seen a few people do these as well so let's push that in there and let's pull so we do want to make sure that it goes in the middle so that we end up with sticky on sticky over it clearly okay so it is coming out the other end so that's one so let's see if we can get the second one to sort of join on so I'm not wasting okay it's grabbed hold of it so let's pull that through and then let's rip that off okay and then it says to rub down and I'm guessing that's what puts sticky on the back and then when you peel this off do you peel this off okay so I can feel micro dots sort of left on that get that out of the way let's move my glorious sticker maker so have we got stickers they're sticky okay so scissors this is where I've got to cut straight but let's give this a go so in fact I might be better doing it from here possibly in fact I might bring my trimmer back out I was going to try and do it from the other way but okay so that is the first number i'm going to work from the bottom again um when i last kitted one up in this i worked from the bottom rather than the top and let's just stick that across the middle <gasps> look so i've got my symbol i've got my dmc number for reference saves me having to pull up my sheet all the time and i can just go and it's stuck <gasps> wow I am impressed. I'm sold. Right, I'm going to keep hold of the sticker maker sheet just because when I have to change cartridge, my brain is going to go, what? Okay, I'm liking it. So let's see if we can continue to cut straight. Good job I've left all the excess parts on because these are very thin, very thin pieces. Luckily I'm putting these onto round containers which means I can turn them round to make them straight um, depending on how badly I do it. But I'm liking this. And the symbols that have got part of the sort of quality control check on aren't too bad i can still make out what they are i do have a symbol chart on the canvas so if i do need to find out what a symbol may be i've got the number as reference on here anyway so this one is a little bit more hazy i think it's an ampersand pretty much looks like an ampersand but I've always got the symbols on the canvas itself if I do just want to double check and as long as I don't leave the top off a bottle we're all good um, if that's something that you yourself are likely to do there is always the option of um, maybe photocopying your inventory sheet and doing the second one there is also the option with this do we try it let's see if we can try it on one I've already done because if I do it just on one and can't do it on the rest so it does peel up okay so the other option which is a little bit more fussy is to actually cut the symbol and then cut the number so a bit like I did putting together my heaven and earth designs bottles because I did it as two separate so you can always have the line like that or the two separate 
Now, I think I'm liking the two separate. Oh, I don't know though. Okay, no, I'm going to stick with the lines for now because otherwise I'm going to be here for so long and all I'm going to be doing is kitting up. So we'll do one more sticker on the bottle. Okay, so you can sort of see how the little stickering up is going. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to pause um, and I'm going to get all the rest labelled up and then we'll start popping in the diamonds and seeing how many fit in because I am conscious otherwise this could be a very long video. So let me get my stickers ready and I'll be back with you. Okay, so I've bottled up or um, labelled up all my bottles um, with each number and I've sort of worked out roughly I've, I've got diamonds all about me um, but I've sort of roughly got them into a bit of number order because I'm thinking about doing the kitting up for this one a little bit different and that's with my spares I'm half and half um, as to whether to actually just open all the packets um, for all the diamonds and when I've got excess of a pot, I'm just going to pop um, the rest into another pot and have my spares in a pot. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about it as I'm doing it. Um, so I'm currently sort of opening two packets at the same time. And we're going to see how many we can fit in here. And that may also um, sort of help with my decision making. But so far we've got four in. Let's see, because there is a lot of packets, especially in some of the colours in this diamond painting. So we've got four, five, six. Do we think we're going to fit eight in? I'm going to put, I'm going to put them in by one now. So six, seven, and then eight. Okay, so eight is a nice amount um, without I could possibly, possibly squeeze in that last pack, which is the ninth, but it would be very much a squeeze. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is because there is only one packet of this left, I'm not going to pop this into another tub and label it up because I'm probably not even going to need it. So I'm going to throw that on the back of the case because that can um, become a sort of my little spares pouch. Uh, so we've got one, six, eight. So how many have we got in here? Two, four, six, eight, nine. Is that what we had in the last one? I think it is. So I'll probably end up doing the same with this one. Um, but I know there is some of the colours that I have like... 10 packets, uh, not 10 packets, nearer 20 packets of. So I think I will open sort of a second batch with those. Oh, that went a bit pear shaped, didn't it? I lost them. Let me try that again. Okay, so that was four. This is the next two, which will make it six. It's quite a bit easier if you can get away with opening two at the same time. Now, bear in mind my other storage that I did primarily use um, did only hold four packets of diamonds. So this one definitely holds a lot more, which is quite good for a big time of painting. I mean, I don't mind when they're sort of a sense of achievement when a tub gets emptied to have to open another packet um, but it also will be a little bit quicker the fact that they're all done so yeah I think if there's only one or two packets I'm going to pop them in the back because I may not need them um, but if there's more then I may do a second pot and all I can do then is switch the lid and I'll have it all full again. So 310, we've only got one. 
318 is the same. So we do have quite a few single packets in these. But to only have one lot of 310 is quite nice. It's a bit of a nice change. So that's that one. 501. So for this we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So this one is all going to fit in. So I'm just cutting them off in batches of two, folding them over on themselves and then tipping it into the bottle. Every now and then I'm losing one, but it's still quicker than cutting each packet separately, that's for sure. And I'm all about speed, especially when I've got so many projects going on in my own head. Checking that definitely is 501 because <laughs> it was a separate packet, but it is. So if we've managed to fit eight packets in here and there's about 200 in each, I mean, for it to be full, for it to be full like these ones. So that's 1,600 diamonds in these pots. That's a lot more than I thought. 535, five. we've only got one of those. So you can fit a lot, a lot of diamonds in these tubs and a lot of colours as well. We've got quite a few here now that we've only got one of. While this diamond painting does have a lot of colours, uh, I do find there's quite a few that I only have a single packet of. Um, and then there's a few that I have a lot, a pile of packets of. Okay, so 613, 642 again, that's only a single one. Quite a bit of rubbish going on here, but that'll definitely be easier as well, because I did find 644. Okay, so I've got three of those. Do we try and do all three at the same time? No, I'm going to cause myself an injury if I do that. Um, yeah, I did find when I was doing doing the diamond painting, and I was getting near the end, um, and I did find that you know I was starting to run out of a lot more colours. Every time I was moving out of the front room, I was having to cart rubbish with me. So I'm sure I'll be happy but there is a lot less rubbish involved in this one but this is one that I feel like I do I'm so itching to do one of the diamond art club ones but I really do feel as though I need to get this one done uh, before I can allow myself to Start doing a diamond art club one for fun. I've been doing some small ones for fun, but the diamond art club ones are very big. It's a lot more of a commitment. Okay, six, four, eight. Why can I not see that one? Oh, it's there. It's right in front of me. A lot of the big numbers do come on later on in sort of the DMC chart. I am sorry if you can hear banging. My daughter is rearranging her room again, possibly, or at least tidying it, and that involves a lot of noise on the wooden floor, which is normally not a problem because it's above the kitchen, but it's also partly above my craft room. Okay, so 819, we've got five of these, so let's do the that scissor cutting first. It's like a pale pink, this one. Oop. Try not to stab myself with my scissors that I'm waving all over the place. It's actually, considering it's a lot of small packets, isn't too long a kitting up really. Definitely had worse. I like the fact that I've got both the symbols and the numbers on my bottles. That's quite nice. Okay, 
an 822, so I've got three of those. When we start to get to the 900, so I have piles of some of those diamonds. A little bit of static yeah it is it's a little bit of static on those ones but not too much okay now we're starting to get to some of big numbers for this one uh, so i'm just going to change the battery in my camera and we'll get started on those okay batteries changed so 926 we definitely have a lot more diamonds in this one so let's group them up two four six Eight, so that will be that one top, and then we've got two, four, six, eight. So maybe let's do it that way, and then we'll pop the three in with my spares. Um, but what I want to do is just using the circle ones that came with it, just be down as number nine two six. And we'll make myself sort of a spare bottle set. So let's get the first lot in. Maybe that's the way we'll we'll go. So it is a mixture of putting all the spares in bottles, but I'm not labelling up a pot for the sake of one bag that I may or may not have to use at all. And then it'll only be really when we get to the end and may have to open another bag up. And I've not cut one of these properly. Because the diamonds aren't coming out. Let's try that. And I'm making a mess. It's still quicker though. Still quicker than cutting them all individually. As much as I like the organisation, it does take a long time. And then one more for this bottle. Ooh. I forgot when it gets to <laughs> bag seven and eight, it gets a little bit tighter. Okay, so that is completely full. So I'm going to pull another bottle out now to do the second batch and then all I need to do when I've used my first tub up with my symbol and my letter and my numbers is switch the lids and I've got a fully restocked bottle of diamonds. Oh, failed on that, dropping them everywhere. No, that's because I didn't cut that pocket pack it properly either. This is a pretty colour though. I do like these teal colours. Okay, see if we can actually cut these properly now. Actually have hope of getting them in the pot. Well, that was better. Bar one. And the last two I'm going to do separate and learn from my mistake last time because it does get quite full. Just push those all up out of the way and then we'll pop 926 on that one and that can sit there as a spare. So let's have a look if we're doing the same with the next one. I don't think so. So we've got two, four, six, eight, and then we do only have two left, so I'll just pop those in the spares. So a sort of a low quantity number, we'll just put them in the little pouch. I mean, it's all 
contained. I don't have to have separate storage for my spares. But we'll just do it for low numbers because we might not even need them. That's the next two. These seem a bit full of these bags as well. And then we'll do the last two the single bags, just to make sure that we're not going to make an almighty mess. See, look, that one. Some of those bags really did feel fuller than the rest. Okay. 93 one. Again, this is one I think we're going to end up with two of. You find the end. Okay, so two, four, six, eight. That's for one top. Two, four, six, eight. Oh, and we might be going again. Two, four, six. Eight. So we've got three bags of that one and I've still got seven left. Um, I'm tempted to put them in another bottle as well but I'm conscious that we've already got two spares. No, I'll leave it as just doing two spares. So this is for 931. I'm guessing we're going to have this in the painting a lot. So let's fill up, of course, the initial one that we're going to use. So opening all these now is, of course, going to take a little bit more time and definitely create a lot more rubbish. But it will create a lot less rubbish when it comes to actually doing the painting and it is quite a big painting this one it is a 50 by 50 and then let's do these separate to make sure that they fit I've not had any problem with them fitting, but they do get very close. So, okay, let's fill up some extras. I don't think I'm going to run out of bottles at all, having a look at the amount of diamonds that I've got left, even with these that use a lot. I've still got plenty of bottles and that is even just talking the bottom half of, of this storage container. Of course the top half contains bottles that are smaller um, but I've actually used that for a smaller diamond painting and I actually didn't have any left over. So that made quite a bit of a nice shape. I mean I say not I didn't have any bottles left over. I did have bottles left over, um, but I didn't have any colour that was more, that contained more diamonds than what would fit in the bottles. Okay, so we'll do the second number of 931. And then 932, we've got a fair amount as well. I can tell this is going to be the basis colour, probably the background of this diamond painting. Straggler. And then 
the last two for this one. It's nice to vary up as well what you're actually the storage that you're using for diamond paintings. Um, I do always lean to, towards certain storage for certain paintings, but it is it is nice to vary it up a little bit. Okay, so we've got 932, of which we have a lot again. So we've got two, four, six, eight, two, four, six, eight. We're still going. So we've got two. Eight, and then we've got five bags still left over as well so let's label these up this gives my chance for my pen to dry before I start popping it onto bottles I'm actually thinking what I might do is I might just pop the numbers that are spares up here rather than them being tagged onto the end because there's going to be quite a few so i think i'll put them up the far end okay so i think we're going to have a lot of this symbol which is the letter j Amazing how many bits that you have left over from cutting open all these bags. Sometimes I like it when suppliers provide them in the actual grip seal bags themselves. But sometimes I do find that the quality of the diamonds is not as good as when they're bagged up. I don't know why. I don't know why, but I do find that. Oh, and I've managed to push all these together, so I just have to make sure that I'm paying attention. Two. number 932 and then we go again and that is then all the way up to the 900 done once I've done this one and then we only have the numbers let's start with the three the three thousands. Well, more than halfway. Which is good because there's a lot of rubbish there. Make sure I clear that up in a minute before I start my next project. And I need to get the canvas ready for this one as well. Need to prep the canvas. So we've got 3022, oh, that's here, oh it's, a, it's one bag, it's just one little lonely bag, feels ages since I've done a pot that just has one bag, 3072, now for this one we do have more, so we have two, four, six, 
seven, eight, and then we have nine. So we'll pop the one in with the spares. If you prefer to open all of your bags before doing a project, you could always move those spare bags either say into a grip seal bag or like I've done you but you could just fill up more tubs because there is plenty of tubs in here for all the extra colours. Of course if you were doing a canvas with a lot more colours might be a little bit different. Two separate. Ooh, that one is looking very full. Still determined to squeeze the eighth bag in though. Must be more in each bag for that one because that one is a squeeze. Okay, three, seven, five, two. It's here and we've just got four. So I'm not going to worry like I normally do. Well, I used to the way I and I may still do again. Um, the way I used to prep them was I always used to keep hold of an extra bag um, just so that I didn't have to cut into it if I didn't need it. But um, as much as I still prefer that, I still prefer to keep hold of full bags if I'm having them in my spares. They sit nicer, it's easier to know how many I've got. Um, I'm not bothering for this painting. So we've got three, seven, five, three. So we've got a, three packs of this one. And then the other two. Three, seven, five, six. Oh, it's here. So we've only got five of this bag, so again, I'm just going to put it all in. I'm not going to keep hold of spares of these just in case they'll fit in a full bag. They'll just mix in with my others in my spare storage anyway. It works for some paintings, doesn't work for others, depends on my mood. I'm not too precious about it. Okay, so that's that pale colour. And then we've got three, seven, six, eight. And this one again is one that we've got quite a few of. So let's group these up. So we've got two, four, six, eight. And then again, we've got two, four, six, eight, and then I've got five left, so we'll pop those in there. It still gives me one extra tub. If I knew what the seller was like and whether they were more likely to only have enough diamonds for the painting or something, um, that may help me know whether, to, whether I'm likely to go in those extra bags or not. But this isn't a seller that I've purchased from before this painting. Um, though I must say the diamonds look great. I've got no problems with, with static so far with these. It's more with the way I've cut the bag <laughs> than it is with static. As you watch me struggle to get a diamond out. It's because I didn't cut the bag properly. Um, but yeah, there doesn't look to be any any bits or anything on these diamonds that would cause me problems. So it's purely how I've cut the bag that's causing an issue. Two more. We don't half place a lot of diamonds when we do a painting, don't we? If you think that that's got 1,600 in and that is not the only full pot in there, we definitely deal with a lot. 
but it looks good when it's done which is why we do it but yeah these do look really nice quality drills quite impressed with what they look like so far and of course I will do a review once the painting's finished and you can see what it looks like completed and I'll let you know how how nice they were to actually work with when it came to it. We've only got a couple more colours now that do have a lot of bags. Most of them are quite low now. So this should get a little bit quicker. So we've got three, seven, seven, zero. So they're here and we've got five bags of those. We do have a hitchhiker one of these bags I'm not going to fight that out now I'll find that when I'm painting and it can just go in a little trash pot when I'm painting anyway it's not worth spending my time trying to find it now it will say hello later and then I can tell it it has no place in my painting Three, seven, eight, two. I've only got two of these. This is like a pale brown. Three, seven, nine, nine. Is that that one? Yeah, three, seven, nine, nine. It's a dark grey. It looks like a a green on the symbol, but. Quite often they do use green to, to do black like colours. Okay, then we've got 3808. So this is one of the colours that I have more of. So we've got two, four, six, eight. Now this is the one I think that it's split and shimmering a little bit. Two, four, Six, eight, and then we just have one bag left over. So I'm going to check it's not the bag that's leaking. And then I do have, oh no, it's not that bag. I do have two little diamonds in a baggie from when I unboxed it. So let's write a label for the spare ones for these. 3808. And I've mixed them all up again, but oh well. We can count to eight. Can't cut straight, but we can count to eight. So we've got two. Separately, just to make sure I don't make a complete mess. Not that I won't make a mess, but we'll try and limit the possibility. So that's eight in that one. And then we've got a spare pot. shame that you guys can't see how high this pile is <laughs> you're not at the right angle on the camera you're seeing it from up above um but yeah this is this is quite a pile of rubbish okay nearly there people 
So then we've got 3862, which is one lonely little bag. And then it's just 3865 that has a few bags. So my camera just saved to make sure I don't lose any footage. But we've got two, four, six, eight of this. And then we've got three bags left over. I'm not going to bother writing another label for three bags. If I find that I run out, I might just tip all three bags and top up this case. I may even have three bags over, but I doubt it. Sometimes when I'm doing my diamond painting, if I do find that I need to fill a colour up, what I'll do is I'll actually fill all the colours up that I've got spares of while I'm there, which in this case isn't that many, especially because I've made myself some extra bottles of some, ready to just switch the lid and carry on diamond painting. Okay, so that's three, eight, six, five. So that's all potted. I've got spare ones at the top. I've still got 25 empty pots. So if I did decide that these loose ones, um, the ones that I've got a few bags of or just one bag of, if I did decide I wanted to put them in pots, I've got plenty to do it. Um, but for now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stick them in there. It's got a handy little pouch for things like that. It does even have an underneath storage, um, but at the minute I'm just going to use that for my, for my label stickers that came with it. So let me get this rubbish cleared away um, and we will get the canvas spread. See you in a minute. Okay, so it's time to prep the canvas. All my diamonds are prepped. Now I'm having a look at sort of the border around the edge of this painting because I do like to take off um, any excess sticky when it does come as a um, opaque cover diamond paint because basically it's just double-sided tape. So I'm actually going to try this a different way instead of peeling back the cover. I'm going to try actually cutting off the cover as well. I can see through this one because it's, it's quite a dark painting. So I'm going to try taking off initially the cover and see whether either I've cut through enough or not enough in this case for the glue to come off as well. So on this one, it is a very thin piece of glue that is also left over. So let me just cut off the rest of this paper so I can see what I'm working with. Okay, so that's the paper that can come off. So now, can I get also the glue off. So maybe this is sort of a two-step process. I can feel it cutting through. It doesn't seem to be cutting through the canvas. The canvas is quite thick. Let's see if this is a glue that's going to come off or not. So I do you find that some of them are trickier than others? But no, this one's coming off. And it looks as though I did actually cut through enough because it's gone all the way. <laughs> Even better. That's a job saved. I didn't have to recut. Now this part I haven't cut quite enough. So let's see whether this glue is going to come off as well. And I think it is. Just need to sort of get hold of it enough to get started. That's off enough. Enough that it's not gonna drive me up the wall. 
Now this top end, there is nowhere near as much. It is a very thin edge of glue, but as I say, because the background of this painting is so dark, it is quite easy to see where the painting starts and finishes. Apart from the canvas is moving on me. Okay, so let's do it without the ruler. Okay, let's see, can we get both off? We have got some thicker sides in a moment, which should quite often if they're going to put the glue over the edge, it's easier if they do it and it's thicker. Which seems a bit daft, but it's true. Okay, so this is just taking off the contact paper at the moment. And it's, say it's a very thin sliver and it's not straight either. So I'm just going to see if I can get the worst of it off, glue-wise, to make it a lot easier to manage before I actually cut down the contact paper itself to allow me to work in strips because this is all one full piece of contact paper. Let me put my knife down before I do myself an injury. It's coming up. There we go. That's the worst of it up. Okay. So I'll move round. The last side that I need to do is the biggest side. Um, and I do always as well keep a smaller craft knife because these just came in a pack of three from the hobby craft um, in the UK and it cost me the grand sum of a pound for all three. So I do also keep one of these knives just in my little toolbox with my diamond painting tools so I can always cut out any rivers or anything that may have formed in the canvas. So I've got the contact piece off. It doesn't seem as though I've cut quite enough for the glue. So I'm actually going to use the contact paper that's still there as an edge for me to cut the glue. Might not be fully straight, but it's close enough. I'm going to get to peel the glue off in pretty much one strip. It's a little bit off, but that's probably my cutting. And then last but not least, we've got the edge that is a little bit bigger. So we've got quite a bit of a bigger stretch on this one. So firstly, we just concentrate on getting the contact paper cut off. So that it's only covering the diamond paint itself. Also, if for any reason you cut this wrong, you've not removed the glue, if you cut it off and realise that you've still got part of the canvas showing. It's not a big deal because you can just leave the glue there and you can still fix it. And then this is a big stretch. there we go so that is the canvas all the excess glue is off now i just need to make sure that this is in a manageable piece so i'm not sure which end i'm going to start with i think i might start at the top on this one and um, just because the image itself um, has got quite a lot of background at the top um, so it's a lot of one colour and I don't mind working in the section about that big. So let's just make sure I've started cutting. I'm not too fussed if it's not straight. As long as it's 
it's one continuous line all the way across and that gives me all this section to work on now I am noticing that there are rivers in this canvas I can't remember if I had any when I unboxed it or whether this is me um, I have mainly kept it flat though it's probably been moved about here there and everywhere at the same time but that's the reason I keep a craft knife in with my tools there is nothing wrong with the back of this canvas so I know it is only riveting the glue on the top I know all I need to do is get the air to push out and these tips that I got um, for my custom-made diamond paint pens are actually quite good at pushing the air out of these bubbles so what I tend to do when I pull back from a, for a section for my next section to work on is I will have a look and if there's any sort of air bubbles I will do a bit of a crisscross cutting across the canvas so that the air's got somewhere to go and then I'll quite simply use this sort of little mini scraper to just sort of work them all out and as long as I'm happy that there's no air left in them if I'm unsure I'll just for example this one that I've not quite done I'll just go at it again just doing a little cross section so that it's got somewhere to go and then I'll just use this scraper and flatten them out and as long as there's no air on the section I'm working that's fine and I'll just do again and again on the next section and next section and so on so we'll stop doing that because I can do that as and when I'm working along let's get another section off say I'm not particularly paying attention to how big these sections are I just want the contact paper to be a little bit smaller and I've probably got fatter sections as I've gone further along but that doesn't bother me either because the further on the painting I get the bigger the sections tend to get anyway so there we go I've got contact paper peeled back oh there's a lot more to do at the bottom yeah I'm definitely starting at the top I like to start where it's a little bit boring and then I can work my way up um, but just to show you the image so if I peel back these few sections as I say oh apart from when that happens where I didn't quite nick it with my knife enough but that's fine I've got spare paper if I needed to to cover it up but in this instance I'm not too bothered say so the sections are getting bigger as I go further down but that doesn't bother me but this is the image Let's pull that back enough that you can see so we've got quite a bit of background and plainness at the top before it starts getting a little bit more interesting so I'm going to do the top section first and then leave the bottom till last um, but yeah quite often my sections will get bigger as I go along and I'll either fold this one back say to here or I might even fold it back halfway depending on how long I'm likely to be working on the diamond painting that evening um, I like to get a section finished sometimes it doesn't happen that way um, but that's the reason I also pull it back bit by bit so if I pulled back that say and thought okay I'm going to do that um, but I don't have the time to finish it I've still got my contact paper to just push over and keep it protected um, but that is my canvas prepped as far as I need to um, I've got my diamonds I've got my spare diamonds um, and that's now ready to work on in front of the TV so thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.